A year ago, I discovered you and your message, and I manifested an amazing, wonderful, dream come true kind of change in my life. I left a corporate job, I left a big city after 20 years, and I moved to the country, which I'd wanted for at least those 20 years. And I um, am starting a business uh, and not really making money yet, and I need to be doing that. What beliefs do you have about this new environment that prevent it from coming? That's the only question. Yeah. What habits of thoughts did you take with you? Because sometimes when you stay in a place that you don't want to be, like you were before you moved, and you explain that the reason you stay there is because it's easier to make money, then when you leave there, for all of the reasons that feel good to you, sometimes you carry with you those old perceptions that continue to be in your way. Unnecessarily, they wouldn't be in your way if you didn't drag them with you and keep them active. So what is it that you believe about where you are that is holding the prosperity that you want away? If I can, I would say that I have been taking in negative and I have not been taking in enough positive. Well, that's all right. That's all right. And that's obvious also. Yes. But the question that we're asking you is really a pointed question. And it's pointed because it's pointing right at what your strongest resistance is. And it isn't so much about the current environment and its problems. It's about beliefs that you brought with you from a previous environment into a current environment. It's about beliefs about the current environment that really don't have anything to do with the current environment. They're just beliefs that are active within you that don't need to be. Do you know what they are? How dare I? How dare you what? Hmm. How dare I have what I want? How yeah. dare I succeed? Yeah, you should be sacrificing. <laughs> That's the belief. I should be sacrificing. And since I'm not, then I must pay this price. Mm. Next. <laughs> so when you hear it, it sounds silly and yet familiar. Yes. So that's a part of it. We will even say it's a substantial part of it, but it's not all of it. What else? What else before you got to where you are did you believe about being where you are? Less opportunity? No? Someone else had already pulled the sled up the hill and so the momentum was already going in the big corporate world and that isn't happening now? I'm just a little lost in my thoughts. Maybe it's what you just said and that is, well, I guess the thought that's been running around in my head is I'm not letting myself have this thing. I've made this thing happen, but I, I, I can't, I'm not receiving it. Sometimes, and we don't want to be heavy on this because we don't want to encourage you to do something that works against you. But because you want answers, you said, I've come for help, which means you don't want some general mumbo jumbo about law of attraction. You want some specific focus on specifically what kinds of things that you're doing that are holding you apart from what you want. And so we're just asking you to ponder these questions that we're asking because the answers to everything are within those answers that we're reaching for from you. This may help you. What is the reason that before you moved to the country where you had long wanted to be, what was the primary reason that you didn't let yourself do that? I mean, logistically, it's because I have a child and he's in a school away now for temporarily. And so I was able to do it logistically. But before that, you had long wanted to do it and you didn't let yourself do it. And you feel that you've almost done something wrong by doing it. So what were the reasons that were active within you? I used to live and be motivated by the idea of what others thought I should do. I must be good. I must achieve this. And I no longer believe that. Are you saying to us that then there was more feedback to you than there is now? There's some belief that you held. Where were you before? What was the environment? San Francisco, and corporate work. Is that corporate work available everywhere? I don't want that work. I have new work. Well, even if it were, is it available everywhere? Maybe not. Mostly there. What we're asking you to decipher 
among the vibrations that you've got going on is how you really feel about potential where you are in comparison with where you were potential around work and money or in general that is the subject okay the work I'm wanting to do and starting to do so you said I have work I have work you said I don't want that work I have work I have a new career I have an idea of work and I've started it but I need to grow it and I need to feel like I can grow it I need to so I'm not we're just asking for some clarification so you had work and now you almost have work well I started a business and I need more clients so what's the difference between the work that you had and the work that you have I believe in the work that I have we're not questioning that at all we think that the work that you are involved in we think that it's a good fit for you would you ask us for some help and we're helping to show you where the bugaboos are in your thinking and where the bugaboos are in your thinking is that there was plenty of momentum that wasn't work that was pleasing but there was plenty of momentum so you weren't out scratching in the dirt for the clients that part of it all was well underway and it isn't here it isn't currently so it's momentum that was then that isn't now there's a different sort of momentum and we want you to know that the only thing that ever slows momentum is you it's not the work it's not the longitude and latitude it's only your perception about the differences and so that's what we're asking you to see if you can identify within yourself what beliefs did you have about that that apparently you don't have about this we want you to feel from us and know that you can have your prosperity anywhere and any way you want it it will come to you when you ask it is given and the universe isn't saying uh, 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 uh can't have it you should have stayed over there what comes to mind is in the past I was working for a big company and a paycheck rolled in I did what I was told the paycheck came every precisely month. And Precisely. now I work for me. Yes. And if I work, it's, it's for my benefit. That's what we were wanting you to acknowledge. But now you've acknowledged it. We want to say to you that while it looked like that was the path of least resistance through which it came, it still came by your own power of attraction. And the means or the process through which it comes is really irrelevant. It's just that under those conditions, you didn't get in the way. And under these conditions, you are for some reason. So apparently, and it's all right, and it's pretty normal, you believe more in the paycheck flowing to you under those conditions more than you do believe in it flowing to you under these conditions. And at the heart of that belief is you say, how dare I? How dare I not be sacrificing? In other words, isn't there a certain amount of sacrifice that is required? So here are our questions. Oh, you're going to really like this. If you work for a big or any corporate outfit, there are things that they require of you. They do have some requirements before they yield over the paycheck, yes? Mm -hmm. And are any of those things that they require of you things that you really didn't want to do yeah a whole lot of them a lot of them be there when they wanted you to be there do the things that they wanted you to do in other words there was quite a list of things that sort of felt like a sacrifice of who you really are and what you really want to do for that and now you're not paying any price so somehow you and almost everybody else has associated receiving from sacrificing you got to give up something to get something it's sort of the old stuck in your craw vibration but it isn't accurate at all because what you're missing because you couldn't step back far enough is that you wanted it and it came and yes your belief system let it come in that way but your belief system can let it come in this way but you got to step back and see what the true source of the money is in order to let it flow to you under any and all circumstances you've got to understand where it's really coming from you think it was coming from them who were holding you hostage for that particular behavior but it wasn't it was a universal response to what you wanted you just weren't blocking it then and you are now is this making sense to you so you just have to acknowledge that the vibrational currency that is flowing to you 
can flow through any avenue that you will allow it and then you allowed it in that way and now you're going to allow it in another way in no case is sacrifice required of you in fact the more you sacrifice of your happiness the more you pinch off what could really flow that's why your potential for prosperity is so much greater now than it was then then you could only go so far as far as they decided they would allow you to go under the circumstances of your sacrifice does it feel a little unblocked now well you see you don't want to unblock it till the money shows up this is over here where the manifestation is but as you're getting ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready don't you feel a little less blockage there it needs to sink in yeah yeah where does prosperity come from well we'll ask some other questions who owns the rights to the air you breathe no one and everyone corporations governments religions anybody metering that out to you no so you don't pay for that you don't have to sacrifice something you don't have to give up television in order to breathe you have to give up anything in other words it's just equal opportunity you just go out and when you're running you utilize more of it when you're sleeping you utilize less of it but you're pretty much in charge of how much you breathe in and out and breathe in and out and breathe in and out of that and the vibrational currency is the same you don't realize that the vibrational currency is just like the air that you breathe that it's there for everyone and that it's an equal opportunity offering and that the only lever that pinches it off or lets it in you hold in your hands and so when you look at it that way then doesn't it seem like as much prosperity as you want should flow and it should flow wherever you are and however you want it to I feel like I'm not ready I want to be ready but I feel like well if you're not ready it's because you're looking too close at what you've come to believe in terms of manifestation and you're not stepping back far enough into the broader atmosphere of how it really happens that's why we brought you back to the air in other words we know for sure that you understand that you have equal right to as much air as you want to breathe don't you believe that I do do you believe that it would be ridiculous not to believe that let's put it to you that way of course you believe that of course you believe that and so why does prosperity or money or currency have to be any different from that only because you've picked up thoughts along your physical trail that other people have wanted you to believe somebody said to you you can't have that you can't have that unless I give it to you and I won't give it to you unless you do this I feel like I need time to let that fade and let the new message come in I don't feel like it just happened we think so too but if it didn't just happen it's because even while we're talking to you the other beliefs are still dominant and the only reason the other beliefs are still dominant is because you're still thinking them even though we are offering all kinds of antics to distract you from them so you can't think that and think this at the same time so as you start focusing upon the freedom that you have and you don't feel guilty about the freedom that you have so do you believe that in this price that you pay for really good paying jobs do you believe that high education is required no do you have a high education mm -hmm. yeah so you must have believed it at some point so you got an education so that you could justify what came to you I enjoyed it studying well we're very happy that you enjoyed it and we're not trying to talk you out of it at all but we are just wanting to point out to you how you have deliberately set yourself up to answer the influence of the peanut gallery and we not being disrespectful of them who do often speak of their requirements of you in order to yield to you and we just want you to celebrate with us that they don't have their hands on the lever of the air of the universe isn't it nice that nobody gets to decide how much air you breathe and so it's the same we want to say to you in a really strong way nobody has their hands on any levers you have allowed yourself to believe that it's never been true